Hello, everybody, and welcome to Des Moines University's Mini Medical School Week number five. Everyone's an athlete. We all play differently. Let's keep you in the game of life with physical therapy and sports performance presented by Dr. Lauren Mock. Well, my name is Hannah, and I have been your host for this series. It has been an absolute pleasure having each one of you with us each week. And if you haven't been joining us yet and you're new, please know that you can watch all of our previous sessions at www.dmu.edu slash mini med, or on our YouTube channel, you can also find all of last year's sessions. Well, I'd love to introduce you to Dr. Mock and get started tonight, but remember, if you think of any questions during tonight's talk, please email them to us at questions at dmu.edu, and we'll be sure to get you an answer. Okay. Dr. Lauren Mock is a physical therapist and a certified athletic trainer in the Des Moines University Physical Therapy Clinic at the Mid-American Reflex in West Des Moines. Her clinical emphasis is on the treatment of orthopedic, sports injuries, concussions, and the active older adult using a combination of manual therapy, functional dry needling, instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization, therapeutic exercise, and self-management techniques. She is certified in functional dry needling, manual physical therapy, ASTYM treatment, vestibular therapy through Neuro360, and level one Olympic weightlifting. Dr. Mott graduated from Clark University with her Bachelor's of Science in Athletic Training in 2008 and her Doctor of Physical Therapy in 2010. Dr. Mock lives with her husband and three kids in Indianola, Iowa. She loves spending time with her family, playing and coaching volleyball, socializing outdoors, and watching Dub Bears. Welcome, Dr. Mock. Good evening. My name is Lauren Mock. I'm a physical therapist and the head athletic trainer at Des Moines University Clinic Physical Therapy at the Recplex. Welcome to Mini Med School. Whether you're watching today or watching at a later date, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend DMU's Mini Med School. In case you haven't heard, DMU opened a second clinic off of 3,200 grand in West Des Moines at the Recplex. The clinic features a dedicated 2,000 square foot gym space to support physical therapy services, group and individual sport specific training, community education and wellness programming. It also includes two semi-private and two private treatment rooms, allowing our physical therapists to meet the diverse needs of our clients. The state-of-the-art equipment, including a high-speed treadmill and harness system, which you can see behind me, a Biodex isokinetic testing machine, functional weight training, and balance equipment. We provide a full spectrum of physical therapy and sports performance and athletic training services to get you back into the activities that you love doing. In addition to in-clinic treatment and consultations, we offer telehealth physical therapy services as an option should you choose to receive your care through video interaction with a licensed therapist, all from the comfort of your home. We serve clients of all ages with a commitment of treating you promptly with patience and compassion. Both the Recplex and the clinic are truly amazing, and if you've not had the opportunity to see it in person, I would personally like to invite you to come out and tour the clinic and see the state-of-the-art equipment. Later, you'll have the opportunity to take a virtual tour of the clinic. You won't want to miss it. With that being said, I am the site supervisor, physical therapist, and head athletic trainer at the DMU Clinic Physical Therapy at the Recplex in West Des Moines. Part of my job is to provide education to the community, which includes presentations similar to this. Today, I'm going to speak about physical therapy and performance training, and I'm going to give many examples specifically related to our clinic. So the objectives are, by the end of class today, you should be able to define physical therapy and define performance training. You should be able to differentiate between physical therapy and performance training. Hopefully you'll be able to list the goals of performance training and then possibly identify what your own playing field looks like and potentially ways that you can improve it. So what is physical therapy and what is performance training? And specifically, what do they look like at the DME clinic and the recplex? Often I hear people joke or describe that physical therapy is pain and torture. Maybe you've heard this before or you've had a bad experience in the past. I'm going to challenge you to think differently. Physical therapists are the movement experts. We help decrease pain, improve mobility, improve strength, and provide education. We objectively assess how you move to identify possible dysfunction and then promote the ideal movement patterns. 
Let's learn more about physical therapy by watching this short video. Physical therapy is really just an opportunity to help you live the life that you were born and meant to live. We see a little bit of everything here. Post-op, so total knees, total shoulders, rotator cuff repairs, ACL repairs, aches and pains. A lot of people, but athletes in general, they just know when their body is not functioning right. And those are people that we'll see for tune-ups on occasion. Every situation is its own unique puzzle that we have to kind of figure out. I think there are three things that make this clinic special. There's a lot of really fun, fancy equipment that we have here at the clinic that isn't typical. We can use this treadmill across the rehabilitation and sports performance spectrum. It has a safety harness with it, so we can do very high speed training very safely. So we can push a person's limits. I think it's important to me to try to create like a family atmosphere because you don't always get that outside of here. And with the stresses of daily life, that's the second factor. And the third factor I think is that DMU is a state of the art facility in general. Being a part of DMU allows us to have a lot of resources that we wouldn't normally have. The students challenge us to be at the top of our game and being at the top of our game uh, then benefits the patients as well. Anytime you can tie technology in with a treatment session, it just makes it more fun. Which now helps us to do a better job of objectively analyzing movement. We've got the Biodex, which really has two main purposes. Um, one is performance training and the other is therapy. We can use the Dorsa V to give us information as movement experts to identify where an athlete's weaknesses might be. We've also got a medicine ball wall, whether you're a baseball player, a swimmer, maybe you play volleyball. We can work on developing that hip shoulder separation pattern that's so necessary. We have a shuttle balance. We can work core, we can use upper extremity. Dry needling is, is one tool that we use as physical therapists to help a person overcome pain and issues that are limiting their function and their comfort. We insert a very, very small needle uh, into the muscle of which creates uh, a neurophysiological response. And that response is a response that allows that muscle to relax a little bit, to not stay so tense. I like to describe it kind of as a warm hug sensation that you'll feel around the needle. So the patient feels better, and then they can either stretch, or they can move, or they can sit more comfortably without that strain. Another unique opportunity we have is the recovery zone. There are wraps that you put on your legs, your arms, and or your hips. They have five chambers, and they inflate one chamber at a time, and then decrease plate that increases blood flow and circulation to the body to help push out lactic acid. So it makes you feel good and helps you recover faster from your workouts. I think the most rewarding part of all that is that I have the opportunity to really get to know somebody. It is absolutely rewarding to see a patient make progress. I see them at their lowest and then I get to see them at their best. I get to see them when they're picking up their kids or when they're playing with their grandkids, making a hockey shot on their ice arena in the volleyball, play in the football game. That's why we do what we do and why we enjoy doing what we do and why I've continued to enjoy doing this for, for 20 plus years. Now, what exactly is performance training? I like to say everyone's an athlete. We all play differently and our playing fields look different. For some of us, our playing field is the basketball court or the soccer field. For others, it might be walking around the grocery store, fishing at the lake, baking in the kitchen, or playing on the floor with your grandchildren. Your playing field might be at work, climbing ladders, carrying a fire hose, jumping over fences, or performing heavy labor. Our goal as physical therapists and athletic trainers is to determine what your playing field looks like. What performance do you want to do? And partner with you to help you live the life that you were born and meant to live. Think about it. What does your playing field look like? We've talked a little bit about physical therapy and a little bit about performance training. Now, how do they differ? Usually when you come to physical therapy, you have some sort of pain. During this time, we're going to treat the entire body. We focus a lot on the injured area. During performance training, as you start to feel better, the role is reversed. We still may focus on individual muscle groups, but we focus more on the whole body. You'll often hear us say our bodies take the path of least resistance. 
That is, how does your body get from point A to point B? That is often the most efficient way for your body to move. But just because it's efficient does not mean it's the most effective. Let's look into this a little bit further. For example, think about a baseball pitcher. All pitchers can throw a ball and pitch, but techniques vary from one athlete to another. Hip-shoulder separation is one common variable and is known as early pelvic rotation and later torso rotation. Literature has shown the less shoulder separation increases forces on the shoulder, possibly making the athlete more prone to injury and decrease flowing, throwing velocity. On the contrary, those athletes who have an earlier pelvic rotation and later torso rotation tend to pitch at a higher velocity. So a normal movement pattern for somebody might be to move the pelvis and the torso at the same time. For that person, it's the most efficient way for them to move their body. But as we can see here, due to the literature, it's not the most effective way to move your body. If the athlete can develop the hip-shoulder separation, they have potential to decrease forces on the shoulder and really improve their velocity as a pitcher. And at the end of the day, ultimately, that's what athletes want to do. They want to improve their performance. Here's another example. Let's say you're older and your performance of choice is getting up out of a chair. The person on the left is still able to perform the sit to stand transfer, but as you notice, their knees tend to bow in. The person on the right can perform the sit to stand transfer as well, but their knees are parallel. According to the literature, we know that if your knees bow in, it puts more stress on the knees. Does that mean that they can't perform the transfer? It doesn't mean that they can, but it's more effective if they perform it with their knees straight and potentially can decrease pain and improve the speed at which they do the activity. During performance training, we have four main goals. First, we will watch and objectively assess how you move. For athletes, we do this by using the dorsi V. You will learn more about this later. For the active adult or the older adult, we look at other performance measures, such as balance, strength, and aerobic capacity. Once we've, once we've watched and objectively assessed how you move, we start to identify your strengths and areas for improvement. So if you think about a little plant, once you've planted that seed, you identify what the plant needs to grow. Maybe you give it water, possibly fertilizer, you place it in the sun, you identify what the plant needs, and then you give it that to help it move and grow efficiently. Once we've, once we've identified your strengths and opportunities for improvement, we look to optimize that movement pattern. So with the plant, um, as it continues to grow, you might prune it, or maybe you tie up branches to train it to grow a certain direction. That's essentially what we do with the athlete. We program training classes to help optimize each athlete's movement pattern based on the sport that they choose. Once we've optimized that movement pattern, our goal is really to maximize and improve their performance. So this nice big tree in front of you, we want to optimize those branches, improve the root system underneath to make that tree as strong and resilient as possible. Okay, it's pop quiz time. Who is performance training for? Everyone, that's right. So at the RecPlex in West Des Moines, we offer a wide variety of classes and performance training for everybody, regardless of your skill, age, and ability. We're gonna go through these classes right now so you can see a little bit about what each class is like. The first class we're going to talk about is a class that's designed for middle school and high school age athletes. Our goal is to help them set a foundation for the future by establishing appropriate functional movement patterns. Athletes learn proper weightlifting technique, such as squatting, hinging, lunging, core strength, jumps and landing mechanics, aerobic capacity, speed, agility, and power development to maximize their potential as an athlete. During the Soccer Strong program, training is designed specifically to improve functional speed and strength while maximizing your athletic potential and decreasing your risk for injury. Our Soccer Strong program usually meets on Monday and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. It's led by one of our athletic trainers. Her name is Haley Ebacher. You can see a picture of her in the bottom left-hand corner. 
And then you can also see a couple pictures of things that they do in class. So we work on flexibility, mobility, core strengthening, lower extremity strengthening. We work on optimizing and really pushing someone um, to their limits on the treadmill. And then also some agility work that's sport specific. Speed and strength is very similar to soccer strong. Training is focused on developing functional strength and proper running and jumping mechanics to allow the athlete to reach their full potential and decrease their risk for injury. The program is tailored more towards the sport of their choice. So, for example, a baseball player or an overhead athlete, such as a volleyball player or a swimmer, may address hip shoulder separation or rotator cuff and scapular strengthening. For the distance runner, we're going to do a lot of single leg strength and stability training, but also work on that hip drive, which is often neglected during training. So if you look at the video, you'll see it has a small medicine ball that he's throwing with two hands against the wall. That small medicine ball throw with two hands really allows us to decrease stress in the shoulder joint, but start to work that hip shoulder separation pattern while minimizing forces through the shoulder. Speed and strength class is offered on Monday and Wednesday nights at six o'clock. We've also had a group um, where they've gathered a group of friends. They have five friends and they meet on Wednesday evenings and they really, their goal is to improve football performance. Uh, so they work on speed, agility, and specific drills to help enhance their football performance on and off the field. So if you have a group of friends that you'd like to get together and train with, we definitely can set up a time um, that works best for you and the sport that you prefer to do. One of the, my favorite classes meets Monday and Wednesday mornings at 5 a.m. and it's called Life Ready. It's really designed for athletes or individuals, weekend warriors who are 21 and older who want to be prepared for work or just to do the activities that they love to do for fun. The class focuses on developing strength and mobility, flexibility, core, and power, both rotational and linear. And during the 60-minute session, participants work to improve their weaknesses and maximize their strengths to become strong and resilient, ready for life. The class is led by Seth Light. He is a certified athletic trainer and a certified strength and conditioning coach, and he does a phenomenal job at leading this class. Active Adult is designed for those who are age 50 and older. The class meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. and is led by Haley Ebacher. The class is for all ages and for all abilities, but again, it's tailored for those who are 50 and older. It focuses on improving balance, strength, and flexibility. And it's designed to help you get the most out of your body using evidence-based strategies. So we really try to customize this based on your performance goals. Um, at that age, everyone's performance goals are completely different. So the workouts might be similar, but we modify the exercise or adjust the exercise to help you meet your performance goals. For example, during this class, we have a marathon runner who her goal is to run for fun. Other participants, their goal is to go to the grocery store or to be able to play with their grandkids or to climb up and down a ladder to walk without an assistive device. So for the marathon runner, we are going to have her do a little bit higher level functional activity. So she may do box jumps on occasion, whereas someone who wants to play on the floor with a grandkid and be able to go up and down a flight of stairs, they might just do step ups. Um, and so we modify the weight, we modify the activity to help you meet your performance goals. Oftentimes as an active adult, you're able to accomplish so much more than what you think you're able to accomplish. And so our goal is to safely and positively encourage you to meet those goals and challenge you with your strength, balance, stability training. We asked one of our active adult participants to let us know what she thought of the process. So she's been one that has started with us for physical therapy, um, she started to make improvements, she decreased her pain, and we started to transition her more into that performance training category. And I really wanted to know what she thought of that process from going from point A to point B, and then really what she thinks of performance training, her performance training class after she finished physical therapy. And this is what she had to say. I initially went to DMU inspired by their advertisement of run and or bike analysis. 
I limped in the clinic on day one, struggling from a run injury. Currently, I'm gaining strength and rebuilding skills that I lost while hurt and through the years. The active adult class has been a game changer for me as I improve on strength, balance, and flexibility, something every age needs. I love the facility. It's new, clean, and I feel COVID safe, which is a priority for me at this time. So what makes us special at the DMU Clinic Physical Therapy and at the RecPlex? We're really taking an integrated approach to physical therapy and performance training. Our athletic trainers and our physical therapists are in constant contact reviewing results from objective measurements of strength, power, and endurance for a turn to sport. We're proud to provide these services to anyone in the community. Whether you're a weekend warrior or an active adult or playing a sport, you can get your wellness services, training, and physical therapy here. Uh, one of my favorite quotes is, teamwork makes the dream work. And you as an athlete or an active adult, as your physical therapist or your athletic trainer, we're all a part of the same team. And working together, our goal is to make your performance dreams work for you. Thank you, Dr. Mock. I know I will for sure be coming out to the RecPlex to try some of those new things out. And I hope all of you in the audience enjoyed tonight's session and we'll be doing the same. Okay, well, you know the drill. Send your questions into questions at dmu.edu. If you email those to us, we'll be sure to get you an answer. And no question is too big or too small. So be sure to send them all, everything you're thinking of. And thank you for being a part of DMU's community. We're so happy to have you join us for mini med school and congratulations, you made it. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.